so good morning children this is neetu ma'am so let's start chapter number 7 this is the continuation of chapter number 6 children okay so chapter number 6 7 and 8 they are the continuous chapter which is about the journey of um your omana from ahmedabad to kerala okay so let's start the second chapter means chapter number 7 from the window okay so it is morning now so what's the time you have to tell me the time children what is the time in the morning look at the watch this is the clock over here and tell me okay you can tell me after this video last night i went to sleep early it was too dark to see anything outside when the train stopped early this morning i woke up it was madgaon children you have to underline it was madgaon that was written on the board at the platform appa said that we were going through the state of goa so madgaon where is madgaon madgaon in this in the state of goa okay so we got off the station got up at the station and had some hot tea and filled our water bottles the train started again i find it difficult to describe the scene outside it's very beautiful in the goa children so i have been to that place i can tell you it's so so green you will love it if you go and those who have gone they must be knowing the beauty of it it is green everywhere fields with the red soil green crops and hills covered with trees okay so you find well, how if in the exam you know this question is always asked how is the describe the beauty of goa so how is it it is so beautiful it is green everywhere the fields with the red soil green crops and hills covered with the trees okay so let's move ahead sometimes i can see small ponds and far away behind the hills more water i cannot make out if it is a river or the sea means it is so big the river is so huge the air is cooler and not so dry as in ahmedabad okay the train passed a level crossing again this is very very important very important level crossing people are waiting so you can see this is a railway crossing this is called level crossing people this side and people the other side the both the sides people are waiting so people are waiting on both the sides of the crossing for the train to pass there are buses full of people cars trucks uh auto rickshaws cycle motors scooters and even tonga and bullock carts so this is very important children what do you see at the level crossing people are waiting on both the sides of the crossing for the train to pass there are buses full of people cars trucks auto rickshaws cycles motorcycles scooters and even the tongas and bullock carts okay children so and bullock carts with people and goods in them so here we are talking about the level crossing and both the sides you can see there are many people and trucks and bicycle and tonga and bullock carts are people inside the bus and all some people do not switch off the engine this is again a very good question to be asked some people do not switch off the engines of their vehicle even while waiting so children you should always remember to switch off your engine while you are waiting at the signal do not create more pollution and try to save your fuel children we have to save petrol right and diesel for the future generation you should always try to save as much as possible okay and you should try to keep your environment clean right children so 
there is a lot of smoke and noise because the your engine uh, engine is working all the vehicles the engines are working then there will be a lot of smoke and of course noise i see some people going under the bars of the level crossing how dangerous it is children this is just the invitation so if you are trying to cross the bar and you want to go underneath the level crossing it means if you are trying to go underneath from this direction or from the other direction this is not at all acceptable because this is very very dangerous so children do not do that ever because this is inviting danger and what are you inviting danger and a very serious accident so children why to invite the accidents children yeah so you have to be very careful and you should not if you see that somebody is trying to go you should stop them from going okay so how dangerous it is to go underneath the the gate okay so at times our train crosses another train on an unni and you can say anni and i tried to count the carriages in one such train what both the trains were going so fast we always got confused have you ever did that that you are going on the train and you are trying to count the carriages and but you couldn't do because train were fast sometimes it is slow then you can count i did it when i was small have you ever did that <laughs> this is funny sometimes i think what have i what do i do what have i you know what i used to do and how how i waste the time or something like that i could have written it no i never wrote a diary now i'm reading it now i'm teaching it then i'm just repenting i wish i traveled so much and i could have written because i i can't remember anything no i just forgot all those places i visited i visited so many places but i hardly remember anything i, I cannot remember so children now this is a good lesson for you, you and for me also that whenever now onwards if i go out i'll keep a diary and i'll keep noting down you should always keep a diary and keep noting down okay so what was the difference in the scene that umana saw from the train on the first day and on on the second day so that you will keep doing it you can do it this uh, textbook exercises we are going to do later okay you can try it okay so children sometimes people cross the the tracks even when the crossing is closed what do you feel about this so this will discuss later but this question is the question for discussion okay so this uh, play uh, after this video we are going to discuss that what do you think about this that people who are crossing the track is it okay for you or they should not do what why they shouldn't be doing and what can you do about it okay so later what's the time here you can tell me I was sitting near the window with my eyes closed suddenly the sound of the moving train changed khud 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 I opened my eyes guess what I saw a train was crossing a big very big river on a very long bridge as it was crossing the bridge it sounded very different no why the different sound the wheels rattled as there was no ground because there was no ground so wheels rattled okay only the tracks and the water below down, down there is only water there is no soil there is no ground when i first looked down i felt giddy giddy means i felt like you know vertigo chakkar aaya ulti jaisa it was really quite scary the river down below was full of water and had done had some boats into it i could also see some fishermen inside the water and those fishermen were trying to fish out the fishes on the banks i waved at them 
but I did not know if they could see me because I was in the train. Alongside our bridge, there was another bridge for the buses and cars. This was built differently from ours. I think going over our bridge was more adventurous. So here you can see in the water, the first one, uh, the, uh, the, the, the one on which the train is going is made up of iron bars. Can you see these are all iron bars and iron bars only are there in the water and the whole bridge is made up of iron. The whole train is moving through the iron bridge and the bridge is, you know, that is taking the weight of the train and on the first one you see this is a cement bridge. So we all know the difference between the cement bridge and this is the iron bridge, okay? So this is like every day we cross these bridges and they are like very, very strong. And you do not, you know, don't get scared when you cross these bridges, this one, the first bridge. But when you try to cross this iron bridge, you get scared, don't you? So that is why it is saying that this was adventurous, the first one. Second one means this was the adventurous, right? So here you get the thrill. You get a little scared whether I'll be able to cross or not. If I, if I try to see them, what will happen if, if we fall down? These are all scary, scary question comes in the mind. But don't worry, children. This is the bridge is very, very, very strong. Okay, so you can cross the river safely. Okay, have you seen any bridges like this? If yes, then where? Have you ever crossed a bridge? Where? Okay, what was the, this, this, these are the questions which you have to answer children so that we can um, move ahead. So these, all the questions you have to do and then we will move in the next video where we will see all these next page. Okay? Ciao.